Hey, Red Red Entertainment, what is up guys? My name is Akasan and uh, we are just uh, double checking a few test runs here. Um, my boys, speaking of my boys, um, they are not available uh, recently for like a bunch of different things. Um, and um, I'm thinking about the next best thing, which is probably getting audio reactions from them. And uh, to help me test this out with this new streaming computer that I got, is the Red Red Nation here over on Discord. What up, everybody? Stop. <laughs> it Stop. Hi. I was about to say, it only sounded like two people like, what's up? <laughs> like that. Um, well, shit, man. Uh, our ladies and gentlemen we have uh you know we got a little bit of while well, it's about 12 14 right now but i got a little bit of time so we can we can talk about whatever we want um why don't you guys uh tell us uh introduce because i know actually a lot of you guys only by screen name only so i mean you can introduce yourself like that where you're from how long you've been part of the crew how long you've been part of discord who wants to go first oh shit <laughs> it's not me <laughs> Great! Anybody, just jump in, please. <laughs> Put me on the spot now. Alright, uh, I'm Rashawn Amagano. Yeah. I'm from New York, and I've been a fan of Rockerstown since... following you since 2016. Damn! And it sounds totally like an AA meeting right now, but yeah. <laughs> Right on, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. I've, I've been a fan of Akasan. Yeah. He sounds so excited. <laughs> it wasn't really excitement in his voice. It was more like at middle. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, <you know. laughs> it, it's all good, man. Thank you so much. Nah, um, this dude's That's been a right. long time supporter through the thick and thin, um, especially when things were at their worst um, with the channel and uh some other drama going on so man i always appreciate you um uh coming around and uh sticking through it so thank you so much man no problem yeah um uh, thank you who's next who's next you are <laughs> whoever you are okay okay i'll go uh name's may i found akasan through walking dead reaction been a subscriber for one year now where are you calling from? Um, 911 operator. <laughs> <laughs> no, go ahead, man. Savage. Um, London. Yeah, I thought so. That so this is technically actually this is he didn't he didn't want to say anything but y'all this is actually Tom Holland on the phone. Tom Holland incognito. <laughs> Tom Holland incognito. Spider man. He, you know, he, he didn't want to upset Tyrell Magnus because, you know, he, he Tyrell Magnus likes to claim that he discovered him first, even though he didn't even know who he was coming out the street. But actually, we got Tom Holland in our Discord, baby. That's how we roll in the Red Dreaded Nation. Now I'm just fucking with you. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> the Walking Dead uh, reactions, man. Yeah, I love them. I love doing them, uh, for sure. Um, welcome. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. What time is it over there, by the way? 4.17 p.m. Oh, okay, not too bad, not too bad. So, it's probably the worst for me, yeah. In New York, what, that's like, uh, 9 o'clock right now? No, it's 11, 17. Okay, completely off, great. Okay, <laughs> who's next? <laughs> By all means, anybody. Not me. Then it's oh, you. No. no. Come on. You know I don't tell nothing about myself. Just my name. And that, what's that? It's Dominatrix. Or Dom. Hello. Hello. Yep. Hi. Yep, with the theme and of... And I've been here for, I think, about a year. Yeah. A bit more. I was about to say, with the theme of the channel, of course we have a, a Dominatrix in the group. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Who's the, sub? <laughs> who's the mm -hmm. sub and who's the switch? What does that even mean? Somebody explain that to me. Wait, but is it one of those things, if you got to explain it to me, I probably shouldn't know. Um... 
Is that is that is that like a is that a semi uki type of thing in Japanese? Like S and M, the leader and the follower, like that. Okay, nobody. In a way. <laughs> in a way, okay. okay. Submissive, dominant. Yeah, yeah. Or you just S go back and forth. S type, M type. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, <laughs> I'm down with it. Um, I would say, well, yeah, I guess dominatrix for you. Yeah. What, yeah, answer the question that was presented. Wait, what was the question? <laughs> Go ahead, one more time. I can't hear anybody. I can only hear you clearly. Excellent, and that's the way it should be. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> nah, no, go ahead. Who asked that question? Was that Kai or who? Huh. What was the question? Uh, totally yeah, it was like who's who's the sub and who's the dub or what? No, we're not talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was the question. That was the question. In here. Yeah. What sure. are you asking? All right, we're moving on. Anyways. <laughs> For real, what? <laughs> <laughs> Zap! Wait, happened. did you introduce yourself already? Oh, I've just been lurking in oh, the okay. shadows. Yeah, I can secretly see. Switching, sweet, secretly switching from the phone to the computer. Okay. <laughs> I can see you. I can see into your mind. What's up, man? Nothing much. I've been around, se I've been around since I, I had searched up Ruby Reactor. Nice. And you popped up. Nice. The and Discord I, dipped when I dipped when I was clear when I was just at some point last year or a year and a half ago came back well, and I've just been inter and just been interacting within the movie chat because that's why I feel at home. <laughs> you just, you just had to say it like that, okay? <laughs> and now everybody moves out of your home. <laughs> Fifty people left the chat. Okay. <laughs> what movie? What's your favorite movie? Uh, if it's a non-superhero movie, I really like The Martian, starring Matt Damon. Nice. Really? Okay. Why? Uh, Matt. Uh, other than it's another rescue Matt, Matt Damon. Damon. <laughs> Other Sorry. than it's a rescue, Matt Damon movie, uh, him being him being alone really get really gives some moments like sh really like give him the spotlight and be able to like do a little more of the acting. Ah, uh, okay, I could see that. I could see that. Okay, superhero movie. And then I'll uh, superhero movie Endgame. Of course. Oh, I've Endgame. waited so long. Yes. To listen to the damn audio commentary. Ah, uh, mine. Give me right? mine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's on audio commentary. But my first reaction is it, that one's actually up on Patreon, um, uh, the original. But I think I blew out the damn mic on that one because everybody was screaming, and that was like my first time really trying to sneak um, my audio recorder into the movie theater, and I had the levels a little too high, I think. So it was just like, just right in the beginning of the movie, it was like uh, Steve is like, "All right." Let's get to son of a bitch. And then suddenly everybody's just like... <laughs> the whole mic blows out and everything. I'm like, yeah! And that's it. Like, the rest of the movie is pretty much that. Um, uh, but though the, we do get the um, the Avengers Assemble line came out pretty good. But I, I swore, like, the first week after that movie, I thought that was DC Sun screaming in the background after he says a, a symbol and I hear somebody scream I swear that was a, a DC son but then I go back and I realized that was a uh, Thor that was actually doing that backup screaming so but it was all right though. among other people yeah how my yeah go ahead my favorite part when I look at the audience reactions to Endgame is that when dirt when everyone comes back and he says, Avengers, the whole theater starts screaming, especially when he gets the hammer. They all know to pause when the music just stops. So and he can say assemble. That's a good point. That's actually a really good point. Yeah, that, yeah. mine too. That is, like the be that is like best audience common sense ever. Oh, the music stopped. Hold up. Right. Right. I mean, but that's also, I think that's he also. Fucking said it. 
that's the power of um, well, except if uh, unless you live in India, and in India like nobody <laughs> like it, like it, like it. people who just go insane. Yeah, I saw those reactions. Re respect to India, but holy shit, man, people were like having orgasms and screaming. I'm like, there's, there's how could a, they even hear the movie? Like, that's that's why it's subtitled, sir. Like, like, like. <laughs> I couldn't believe that. I'm like, yo, you can't, even, you can't even focus. Like, some of that feels like overreacting. But you know, I've seen Indians like, I've seen the pre-order line in India um, for in-game. Like, I know, that, you know, it, that's what it's all about there. I've seen fools jumping stands like a rock concert just trying to get those tickets for in-game. And um, I felt it out here in Japan, like it, it sold out in like what four minutes or something like that. Those midnight showings, and so one of my friends or uh, one of my fans sent me the Indian version of um, in game, like uh, showing how the tickets were all decimated and everything. And you see Bruce Banner with his head all shook and everything, so <laughs> it, it's real. It's confusing it, times, yeah. <laughs> These are confusing times, my friend. Um, but no, no, but that's the power of music for reals. Like, like that's the, that's the power of a music editor and the sound composition of everybody just knowing when to just drop and wait because, um, you know, speaking of in game, like that whole assemble thing, um, none of my students really, uh, I'm talking about my Japanese students, they didn't actually realize the significance of uh, Captain America saying a symbol and every time I, I you know I always have like two pictures that I always explain to them since uh, my webcams on I'll go ahead and uh, bring it up um, I always show them these two comic photos of Captain America old school saying a symbol and then there's also Captain America like the new Avengers time um, also saying holding Mjolnir saying Avengers a symbol so I explained to him that we've been waiting for 10 fucking years for this dude to say this line and he finally said it so I'm glad it works so well yeah the only thing I hate from that scene is the fact that uh, spider-man's mask is off otherwise everything else in that is, uh, in there is perfect so actually if you yeah, actually as the camera pans his mask actually comes on just as his face goes out of view <sighs> That sucks. I wish they did that. I, I wish they. I wish they um they showed that a little bit earlier. More. Yeah, because that that's the one thing that bothered me about that, and then so that's one of the reasons about Far From Home. I kind of like the whole ending. If uh, spoiler alert, if um I won't mention it, but I'm glad whatever happened at the end of spoil uh, at the end of Far From Home. I'm glad they did what they did because I was just kind of getting sick of um this like lackadaisical uh, treatment of uh, Peter Parker and his identity and everything. So I was just like, I'm just, I'm done with it. I was like, nobody really cares in the MCU. So I'm like, okay, whatever, do it. So it is what it is. Um, all right, so switching gears up in here, what are we, what are we looking forward to um, in the next couple of months in terms of programming and TV? What do you guys like to, uh, you know, watch? Uh, Nightfall, did we get I you? I have nothing planned, really. Yeah. I don't even know if we introduced... Or is Nightfall just listening? Yes, I'm just here. Oh, okay. Well, you can say something. I mean, I, I didn't want to skip you, but you didn't say anything. <laughs> well, yeah, I think. Call me Nicholas. It's just my middle name. I don't, I don't feel comfortable saying my real name right now. No problem. Nicholas for Nightfall works as well, man. Don't worry. Uh, where are you calling from? Or around? Miami. Where? Miami. Oh, Miami. I thought you said Asgard. I was like, damn. All right. <laughs> that, what? Yeah, that would explain. I don't know. I'm just saying. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, Miami. Um, cool. All right. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, back to what I was saying. Yeah, what are you guys looking forward to? I got nothing yet. I haven't been well. I don't. I don't have. I haven't been paying attention much because I've just been watching Hulu and then I've been watching. And then I've gaming, watching Hulu or Amazon or Amazon uh, 
Prime video. Ah. Uh, the boys. And the boys. The I finished boys. that. Oh my god! Don't worry. I'm on. They were all, I think. I think they were already filming season two after season one. Really? Um, they are, They shared their first look at. It, they shared their first look into season two. They've already started filming. Nice. What? Um. So yeah, I'm on episode uh, three right now. I'm watching that tomorrow with uh, somebody else from New York. Actually, is visiting right now. I'm gonna be checking that out. I, yeah, I'm I'm liking the boys though. I'm definitely liking the boys. I heard it was good. Yeah. Um, cool. I'd say just I say just keep expecting it to get more wild. I could imagine. I could totally imagine. Sorry, I think Nightfall. You was that you saying something? Uh, no, somebody was mummering mummering something. Okay. <laughs> oh, Nay, go ahead, Nay. I said I was excited for Bowl's episode 9, but it's Disney, so, you know, expect. True. That is true. Uh, Star Wars episode 9, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm mixed on that. Wow. Okay, and we're back. That's a weird button. Like, the, on Streamlabs, the record button is just like a weird, like, glowing red opposed to like gray so it doesn't really give that feeling that you're really recording wow no wonder people get people get caught up like ending up like having sex tapes and stuff um through obs i'm serious like yeah 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 yeah, yeah. no i'm serious there's this one Mexic this is there's one mexican dude that was um well you know what this is going on youtube so i can't talk about it but yeah some mexican How dude do you got... know and where can i find them um <laughs> oh come on i guess search obs stream <laughs> fail couple or something like that like i think he was trying to hit the record button but he ended up hitting this broadcast button because <laughs> they're literally right next to each other and i think he hit the wrong button and um i mean that was his fault though for like using obs as a recording device for that sort of stuff but whatever um yeah star wars um i'm very mixed on that because um i want to be hyped about it but i personally um loved i uh love this I, I loved parts of the last jedi and i loved the hype around the last jedi and the whole red and black situation obviously you know i'm rolling with that um but then in the years that have followed since the last jedi came out the kind of the star wars fandom kind of i don't know it just t tuned me off of everything like i'm just not even that in uh hyped about anything anymore yeah. um i think that's what it really is it's like very similar to how the mcu will analyze stuff all the time the dc fans will overanalyze the significance of uh, certain uh works um in the past the star wars analyzation of the last jedi just kind of tuned me off of like turned me off of just everything at the moment so yeah that's me though yeah. Yeah, I, get, I get what you mean with that, because I like The Last Jedi as well. Really seeing problems with it. Um, Nay, what were you saying? I was saying that Palpatine's gonna be in it, so Disney's gonna ruin Palpatine. <laughs> <laughs> and, see, that's my thing, is like, like, I don't actually like them going... Like, if it wraps up really nicely, then that's fine, but I don't really like them going back backwards. I kind of preferred the way they were going forwards like i like the fact that snoke was introduced and then they were like yoink out i'm out of here like i, I that was the, like one of the best moments in the entire movie and maybe maybe i won't say cinematic history but just the idea of snoke being taken out that early i was like yeah. no way man you, you didn't you, expect it exactly and you don't get those <laughs> you don't get those kind of moments in cinematic history um that often especially with bigger franchises so i like the fact that they kind of took a risk and they were like yep we out <laughs> like they built that dude up so much and it was like nah we out <laughs> like that shit was, I was kind great. of like sonic because like i was curious and like what his origins were right 
I think that's going to be really explained. I agree with that. Explained in, in the future. So. I, I agree. That smoke would be made <laughs> Somebody said that. I, um, I remember that theory. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, I guess you know I'm kind of glad that they're kind of ending. Like I hope that this is like it for the Skywalker saga because I don't like them referring back to the older stuff so much. I like them going forward. I've, I've said it many times. I, I like I like Star Wars, but I'm not crazy about Star Wars. I never really got into Star Wars the the original the legacy timeline i never really got into it the same way other people got into it i mean the biggest hype moment for me back in the day for star wars was basically darth maul and it, maybe it has something to do with the red and black maybe it just has something to do with the fact that that dude had a fucking double lightsaber a du uh, dual lightsaber and um that shit was hype for me back in elementary school so um, but that was about it. The legacy stuff never been really that big on. Um, though I do really like uh, Empire Strikes Back. The other ones, not so much. So, but that's just me. That's just me. I'm more of I'm more of a TDK fan myself. Best trilogy like, ever. Like Attack of the Clones. Um, that was. I don't the... like sand. Preview, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't like so sand. too. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, um, I mean, it was, it was, it was okay. It was just, to me, it was just kind of a popcorn thing. The biggest memory I have about that is that my finger got smashed in a car door after the movie. And now, uh, that oh, was, shit. that was my biggest memory of attack on the, uh, attack of the clones. Um, I have yet to actually watch clone wars though. Um, that's the one I do want to roll with because I do want to start like a reaction, um, series on that but i just know it's so long and i know that's going to be that's probably my next avatar Korra two-year relationship i gotta be committed to of weekly videos so i'm waiting the on that the problem was just good the what the what the problem was good. oh okay yeah i gotta imagine it's good uh, Damn, this dude is like literally on a plane headed somewhere. <laughs> like, but not. <laughs> no, no, but I know he's from. Yeah, I get he's coming through from London, so it's gonna be a little different. <laughs> Either that or, yeah, he's using his phone. <laughs> like, he's like, come on, 4G, hang in there, man. Hang in there. Like that. Yeah, yeah I think that's exactly what's happening. He's using his phone. All right, guys. Let's um, let's turn, let's uh, switch it up a bit. If you guys just have any questions for me, kind of, you know, it's not really a meet and greet, but I guess it's a chat and hat. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. um, I, was gonna, I was gonna say Crown season three. That's what I'm looking to. Crown season three. Yeah. What is that? Crown. The Crown. Uh, Netflix. Queen Elizabeth. Netflix series. Oh. You don't know. Oh, you don't see it. Probably. I, I probably don't get it over here. We, uh, the last Netflix thing that we got was um, Glow, actually, which was dope. Well, uh, Crown Season 3 was announced, but it's a realist, it is sort of a realistic fictional version of Queen Elizabeth and her husband, which is oh, played wow. by Matt Smith, who is played by Matt Smith. And Matt Smith actresses, is, but she looks she looks a little. But she, I think it's supposed to be it's a bit of a time jump. She's a little bit older. Crown. Okay. Crown. I do know. I do know. I do know people who I knew know people who are like in the palace or something. They're like, yo, this this is actually a bit accurate. Really? It is. Yeah. Oh yeah, I do have Crown on. Uh, yeah, I got Crown on Netflix. Okay, I don't. I think Netflix just Netflix just knows me well enough and what I watch that it's not even on my radar. <laughs> like, like, the nah, you 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 be yep. I'll show you exactly what's recommended to me. First and foremost is um the Naked Director. <laughs> like, what? Do you guys? Oh yeah, I've seen that. 
Oh, it yeah. It's Netflix's YouTube, so I knew about that. Okay, okay, okay. The Naked Director. That's like the first thing that's uh, uh, recommended to me based on my sort of list and shit. So, um, Orange is the New Black, Sherlock, The Chef Show, um, Derby Girls. What? No, I don't want that. <laughs> And I don't even understand this Frankenstein monsters monster Frankenstein, like. I think that was just, I think that's just a satirical. Oh, name starring David Harbour. Okay, 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 okay. There is uh, a an, mockumentary. Mockumentary. A mockumentary. Okay. There's also Enter the Anime, which I'm saving to watch later. That shit looks pretty dope. Um, uh, there's a lot of stuff. Like I said, Glow is really good if you're a wrestling fan, I think, or if you just like female empowerment but um there's a lot of man netflix is killing the game right now but that disney plus i gotta watch out for that and hbo max i'm mixed on that it depends on like is there really enough for me to really get me to focus on that of, of things that i haven't really seen the whole the whole reason disney plus is intriguing me because it's going to be a bunch of new stuff i haven't seen before uh, Netflix is the same idea, but you know, if it's just stuff that's in my catalog already, I mean, shit, I already have all the the. the... I was surprised. I was surprised that HBO Max is including Rooster Teeth shows. Oh, but I think the, um, Warner Brothers owns it because uh, at least in um, Japan. I don't think. I don't know. It's not that they Warner Brothers doesn't own Rooster Teeth, but they AT and T owns. Full screen, which owns Rooster Teeth. Ah, uh, that explains it. Then. Uh, but Warner Brothers and Rooster Teeth do have a deal because Ruby and their other show, Genlock, are receiving DC, legit DC comics. Wow. At it. Uh, yeah. Because I know out here in Japan, uh, Ruby is distributed by Warner Brothers Japan. So that's where I kind of got that from. I miss Ruby. I think the. Uh, I think. I was going to ask, like, while you're not doing reactions, will you continue to watch the show in your free time when you have the time? A uh, Ruby? Yeah. Um, yeah, that's essentially, I think, what I what I have to do. Like, what, what that really came down to, and that's one of the problems I'm having right now, is the fact that originally Ruby was just like a 12-minute... 8 minute 12 minute sort of thing that um Dante our DC son and I could just come down we sit we watch and we move on to the next thing we could treat it like a very you know just like a doubled up simple reaction video type of deal but then they started expanding that to like 20 minutes 25 minutes like a full show and for me um around that season it sort of just kind of lost its um impressiveness because it started they started writing it more like a regular show and current season the current season only has three 30 minute episodes and the rest really are back or the rest are still like they're 12 to 15 minute well, that's cool um it, it was just like the pad there's also the slight padding about one minute padding which was to advertise their other show genlock which is nice. probably their neck they're probably their biggest show that they've done nice they're great because okay. genlock they uh rooster teeth actually got michael b jordan who's wow. one david Tennant. they got Maisie williams dakota fanning they like got some impressive names for the show and they don't really waste them especially for it's eight episodes nearly half an hour long uh, half an hour or long. Damn. So what time do you go in and start working for Rooster Teeth tomorrow? Yes. <laughs> 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 nah, nah, but okay, okay. I will, um, I will look into reserving some time into catching up to Ruby and on top of that, seeing if we can pick up something else. Um, Maybe I'll just have to start doing it solo instead, and that would probably be the best way. So, um, it, I remember it was right around that time where Netflix was dropping shows left and right in terms of actually um, putting out new shows, and I'm just like, this is way too much to be keeping up with. So, and then on top of that, the whole thing with Rooster Teeth was the copyright claims and all that. I'm like, yeah, this is too much hassle. So. Um, yeah, I'll, I will uh, 
remind myself to see where I left off and see about just catching up on it so for a next new season or something like that maybe start it up again we shall see yeah q a time uh or whatever uh you guys if you guys have any questions for me besides ruby <laughs> you can by all means okay, okay what did you think of the flash season six as a whole what the season four no, six season of the flash uh, which season though? Six. Season six. Which, w the one that hasn't come out yet though, right? Yeah. Flash. The Flash. Oh, that season five. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you're talking about season five? Yeah, yeah. I got confused. Yeah. Um. Honestly. <laughs> 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 no, I'm just laughing because I'm like looking at my DVD right now, a Blu-ray copy. Like I own the first season, and um, you know, they, it had its moments, but overall, it just wasn't really anything compelling. I think I think that's the main thing. Is like I, I'm not looking for season one. I'm not even looking for season two. I'm just I'm, I'm looking. For it to be compelling and for the most part the most entertaining point about the show uh, last season was just focusing on how bad certain points were I never really felt like anybody was really in danger I never really felt like there was ever really a threat and by the time like yeah. you like usually every time the goddamn villain the real villain escapes um oh my God. it's only like two or three episodes left and i'm like well we already learned from um savitar saga that this is gonna be wrapped up like a shit show and you know i just i felt like there were moments when everybody was really on it as actors but i just felt like the directing or the direction of the show just nobody really seemed that invested anymore and um especially for a man whose the name of the show is called the flash we didn't really see much investment from grant or and um the barry allen character at, at all it just seemed like you like i was like damn man it's like is it like wwe and shit is this dude injured or some shit what he can't run anymore like 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 he just was on the sidelines most of the time but i did really like what um nora uh the nora character brought to the show but uh it was just it was just handled in a weird way so for me i just felt like Five years of my life is kind of enough for The Flash, and I'd rather just focus on other shows and other things, particularly because of the fact of how straining and stressing it was for myself and my editors to try to get that up weekly. And WB is like, oh, that's a nice reaction you got there. That's a nice reaction review you got there. It'd be a shame if somebody claimed it. And so zero money goes in. So I'm paying editors for, um, you know, I'm, I'm losing money every month, basically, on these kind of WB shows. And I'm just kind of just a little tired of that. So uh, that's why season six, I was just like, eh, it's, it's enough for me. Will you come back to season six should reception overall come back as a I'll come back to it depending on how the audience has uh, responded. Yeah, I mean, at this part, you know, just look at Arrow. Arrow is actually a really good example of like in for most shows once you lose that core interest of the audience it's really hard to bring them back like i think one of arrow's best seasons was five and a good part of uh six was it six was the prison um no wait no, seven. that was seven right so five was prometheus yeah. so six was what um uh, DS. Oh God! <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Ricardo Diaz. Um, 
you know, five whichever, words. whichever. <laughs> yeah, whichever. I mean, he's... All, whichever one where Oliver was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna go back to killing again. Speedy. That was five. Yeah, that was yeah, five. Okay, okay. So that was that was a great season, but you know, it it wasn't enough to really bring old fans back because of how bad season four was and I, I just kind of feel like flash is the same way it's like people aren't repulsed by the flash but they're just not really that interested and there's better shows out there for people to get into now and um so i don't you know this could be a amazing season uh but in all likelihood it's not going to be like um the way the way i see it um whoa what just happened okay um the way i see it is like half the fucking crew should has to be killed in like the first episode um for people to be you know that must see tv that like shocking tv you need like a fucking thanos type epidemic um a, the decimation and shit for people no i'm not i'm not like not even joking for people to like to really tune in but obviously they're not going to do that season premiere. If they're going to do any of that, they're saving that for um, Infinite Crisis or cri Crisis on well, Crisis. What what are they calling it? Infinite Crisis? Crisis on Two Earths or Crisis on Earth? Infinite Earth. Yeah, Crisis on Infinite Earth. Is that what they're really calling it? They just combined yeah. all those series together. Cri crisis on Infinite Earths. Okay, so yeah, the, that's they're basically going straight. They're basically doing. Crisis on Infinite Earth straight from the comics, but it's instead of like, right? Superman's in there. I forgot Superman's in there. Whoops. Yeah. No, no, no. But no, the... they're going. They're going straight for the. They're going straight for the comics to do their own and to do their own. Uh... Right, but the original one was called Crisis on. Yeah, okay. Crisis, Final crisis on Infinite Was it called that? And then the other one was called Final Crisis. That's that's what it was. Okay. Yeah. Uh yeah. People I think I think the audience more recognized Crisis on Infinite Earth yeah, definitely. way more, but uh Yeah, that I mean I, I want I really want the Flash to su succeed, but I just don't as a as a as a business decision, I just don't really wanna be um uh, needs less to steal, in my opinion. Needs what? Less to steal. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's a whole nother thing. That kind of like, takes away from the main story. Everybody, yeah, like, everybody, has, like, yo, everybody has powers now, and it, it just got goofy yeah. as fuck, man. Like, um, but for me, it's just like, I want to continue, I want to come back as a fan, just similar to Arrow season five, like, I was watching season five and I'm like, damn, this is fucking good. Maybe I should get back into uh, recording for it. Um, but I just didn't want to be, I didn't want that uh, pressure of trying to produce a weekly reaction review show because that sort of changed my mood and my expectation. Cause I was always, when you have those cameras and those lights on you, you're hoping the show is going to be super exciting so you can give your best um um reaction but uh flash hasn't been doing that recently so it w the best part about it was just me and dionysus making fun of it and that's kind of sad <laughs> it's like still around dionysus Is still um around? yeah uh <laughs> are, you, are you still doing reactions with them or do you like done with the way from that um i want i want I want him to continue doing it, uh, but he is going through uh, he's going through a transitional phase with Japan right now and just uh, dealing with different things and and it, that that actually does kind of lay back into what we were talking about is like you know um, he really enjoyed he really enjoys doing these videos. But it, that's a lot of, it's a lot of work. It was a lot of work for him to come over every week um, and schedule that yeah. into his appointment. And then right after that, he had to run to uh, his job. And, you know, if there isn't any sort of um, what, I won't even, I, I'm not, I won't say financial, but there if, if there isn't any sort of like re receiving sort of thing coming back, I can see where it's really hard for people to keep coming over. So, 
uh, like that because it's, it's not cheap no, to do it. that. Yeah, but um, now he likes doing it. Like he actually enjoyed Flash a lot more than I did um, that last season. So I hope he'll come back in some form or fashion. I tried to get him in the group shot, but he's uh, he's on a little bit of a retreat right now. Um, he's trying to meditate, man. Trying trying to get things together. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question. Who's got a question? Dominic Strix, what are you thinking? She's got a mic meeting. She's not yeah. talking anymore. Oh. She's listening, uh, but she... Go ahead. What, what do you think about the Rick Grimes movie? Rick Grimes missing? Movie. Oh. Whatever. I mean... <laughs> They can do what, do what they want, I guess. Even the fucking Walking Dead comic is finished, so it's kind of just like... I won't say keep beating a dead horse, because I don't feel that way. I'm actually enjoying the story. I am enjoying the show, for sure. Um, I'm just looking to see... I'm, I'm, looking, I'm looking to see what they're going to do next, so... I'm enjoying everything that they're putting out so far. I really want to get into Fear of the Walking Dead, and I watched the first season, but... Um, like I said, it's just um, it's just too much TV out there. Like, um, and I know people feel like I'm overreacting, no pun intended, but most of my time is not actually watching a show. It's actually taking it and making the full reactions. Or I'm I'm in front of a computer most of the time, so it's really hard for me to just kind of sit and lounge and just watch other like as many shows as I can I wish I wish I did at that time shit <laughs> like, like the, I remember I watched the first season of Fear of the Walking Dead in between my full reactions um editing and everything and I, I I would get like 20 minutes in every day of Fear of the Walking Dead and come back and um but yeah uh I wish I did have that time to watch whatever I want I, I still have a fucking present from a fan they sent me the entire, what is this? The Boardwalk Empire, the complete series. Like, they sent that to me like two years ago. And I always told them I w would watch it. I just never, like, in the first in my mind, I'm like, okay, well, I'll set it up. I'll set up a reaction series. And so I was waiting till there was a time to do it. And then I was like, nah, fuck this shit. I need to just watch. So I, that's probably exactly what I'm going to do, like, New Year's. That's how far I got to schedule it in during the christmas new year's holiday because that's when all the views drop nobody is watching youtube anyways that's the time when i can catch up on shows i got the complete animated batman the animated series right here in a box set from last year <laughs> still <laughs> from last year unopened because i just haven't had time to crack it open and watch it yet Rewatch it and i love i fucking love mask of the phantasm that shit is great. Great. One of the best Batman movies ever. Cool. Speaking Next. Batman, I, got, I gotta ask. Are you going to react to the um, Batwoman premiere by any chance? Because I'd love to hear your thoughts about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I am. I, I, I'm, I'm planning on it. Um, I think it comes out October good. <laughs> I think it comes out October 6th, I believe. Um, I'm not sure. Um, but I, I think it's right around New York Comic Con. Um, so they might even let me go to the premiere. Um, I don't know. Uh, but if, if, if they do, if I do go to the premiere, that'll be kind of tricky because then I can't react to it. So, or I could, but I'd be. Oh, yeah, it's October. Wow, it's October 6th. So it debuts October 6th. Oh, what should I do? What day is that? Is is that... It's, and you know what? That's Sunday. Oh, wow. I think it's coming on... A, is it going head-to-head -head with... Um, wow, it's going head-to-head -head with The Walking Dead. Okay. Huh. Or at least around the same time. Okay. Um, let me see if I can find somebody in New York. You know, actually, who would be perfect to watch it with? Drew from um, Echo Mod. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Some, somebody, uh... <laughs> Trigger word! <laughs> he's not in New York, he's in California. I know, but he's coming oh. to New York. He's staying with oh. me. 
for um, um yeah so yeah uh yeah i'm gonna watch it uh i think walking dead premieres uh episode, season 10 premieres october uh 6th as well yeah looks like it i hope it's more negan in, in this season yeah no more negan is that what you said no i said i hope to see more negan oh me too me too yes sir I do intend to see more Negan. That sounded more like that um, big ass chicken and Looney Tunes, but uh, yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. I do believe. Um, sorry, guys. I'm tired. Um, um, okay, so I think let me let me talk to Drew. He still owes me money for the Airbnb, but let me talk to Drew. And um, I think that would actually be really good. Is uh, I watched The Walking Dead or. We watched Batgirl or oh, Batwoman together, and um, because I know he hated that, he was hating that movie. <laughs> it's, 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 just, it's just it's just gonna be a full 30 minutes of uh, Drew with his arms crossed. M Dog, I hate this, but no, nah, I'm gonna give it a fair chance, man. The trailers have not been convincing me, but. I will give it a fair chance, just like I gave Titans a fair chance. So, and I love the Titans, a Titans uh, show now. That's what I'm waiting for. Okay, final questions, guys, because your boy's getting a little sleepy now. It's 1 a.m. and I got a uh, guest coming over tomorrow into the studios. Dominatrix, I'm so surprised. Come on now, I know you got something Nightfall. you want to say. Nightfall. Nightfall. Oh. You don't have to, it don't, doesn't have to be react questions. <laughs> you can say anything. What was the question? <laughs> Do you have any questions? Me. Uh, for no. me. For, for the red dreaded one. It's your time. One on one with the red dreaded. Well, not that kind of one on one that you're probably thinking about, but. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Hey, what? It's in your name. I'm the no, I was gonna say, I'd love it, but no. Uh, I don't have any questions. Do you have any commands? No. <laughs> Watch out, Jesus Christ. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thought of me. Yeah, oh, ah, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Um, well, I guess that's it then. We are good for to Zaf, yes. Oh no, I had to attend to a thing. Oh. Yeah, question. Yeah. Uh, the leveling system in the server. To what? <laughs> Anybody catch that? No. Lack of rank in the server. We have something about the server. Yeah, something about we have a rat in the server. No, 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 ranking, like leveling up. Rank. Yeah, ranking. what about. Okay. Uh, do we have. Do, do you have one? I guess. Well, let's teach level 5 and get a new role, something like that. Yeah. No, I we think... have colors. I don't think we have. Yeah. Uh, level ranks, as in like that. Let's have colors. Oh, so we just have colors, yeah. Like, I'll be okay. honest. I, I will Makes obviously. No sense. Yeah. <laughs> Only the does. lights of the red are the mods, and that's it. I mean, yeah. there's, there's, I don't know, like, I don't know. Talk to somebody who the runs the lights of the red. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know, I, t I took that from Star Wars. Like, I was just like, yeah. okay, I need some, I need something to it's call. My, thank you, thank you. I need, I needed something to call my moderators because, like, they're running, they're running this shit for reals. Like, I, I generally only come on. Um, Discord. <laughs> no. Updates. <laughs> Updates, streaming. Sometimes yeah. I'm always reading the general chat um, to see what oh. you guys are talking about. Yep, and you guys are like flipping off new members. <laughs> it's like, welcome. Yeah, fuck <laughs> you. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> like that. And there's just all these weird conversations between longtime Discord members about oh, God knows what. And I'm like, so this is why people's not are not joining. They're getting turned scared off and shit. Like, <laughs> um, it'll be friendly. 
Okay, okay, no, it's, it's okay. It, it, it's all good. And um, that's about it. Uh, other than, oh, and then I, uh, um, no, I'm on Discord daily talking to my editors, actually, because we have a, we have a little secret uh, chat room where I'm, yes, yeah, I'm uh, talking to all my editors because I'm always, I'm like, hey, what the fuck? In the mainframe. Perfect. Right. I'm like, hey, I need, I need this, somebody edits this, hey. Manny, I need you to do this. And then that's about it. That's about it. But I will try to, we're trying, like I talked to Darth Wayne the most um, on here. And, like this? Yeah, I'm trying to um, do something where we can watch, uh, like, you know, you saw me trying. I was trying to do something with Patreon and Patreon plus yeah. Discord members watch in game or something like that. And now that we tested out this technology, we know it works. It can work. It can happen. We can bring back Jurassic Park. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We can bring hey. Plus. Hmm. Uh, wait. I, I, I thought you were talking about a screen sharing thing. And I was like, there is a way to do that on Discord without DMs. No. No, no. Okay. No, no, no. I'm just talking about recording audio. That's the main thing I wanted okay. to. Yeah, that's what I wanted to test tonight, and it, it looks like it worked flawlessly. So, make sure you guys uh, subscribe or follow. Add. What? I am subscribed. What do you mean? No, 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 no. I'm not talking to you guys. I'm talking to YouTube. People. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, I have been accused. <laughs> no, but are you part of the Patreon? Uh, it's great. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, I mean, I'm paying forty nine ninety nine yeah. a month from Patreon. I need to know what to sacrifice. Perfect. Um, I, I, I suggest uh, Tyrone Magna. <laughs> I tell him. Star murder of birds, but you know, akasan has got a tempting offer. There you go. Yeah, the Ruby's not around right now. Just you can do an off season, like the off season of Ruby. You know, jump on over, and when Ruby comes back, jump over to Murder of Birds. You know, I understand. When Avatar, when I stopped doing Avatar uh, videos, whoo, that Patreon dropped a lot. But I understand. But it's coming back now with Black Cells. Yarr, yarr. Black Cells. And somehow we're going to get it together. I'm double, so I'm double checking. You never you never actually got in render until. Or is this like. Let me refresh myself. What? There are some. <laughs> no, it's like. So, like. I, I'm behind on some reactions. Like, some I'll watch, but I don't like. I don't always watch. I, I'm not. I don't tend to watch the series reactions because I'm back but I do like enjoy the trailers The uh, I do enjoy the trailers I do enjoy the game reactions okay I was uh did you did you recently get into the last era but yeah because I did okay no like two years ago like <laughs> okay well yeah. recently yeah, yeah, quote, yeah, quote. yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I did see it pop up, and I was curious. Yeah. So what the the problem with the last Airbender was? Um, so I I finished on Patreon. We were doing it every week, and we were knocking them out like crazy, and it was great. Um, but YouTube was a whole nother story because Viacom was just not letting anything slide by, and that that was so infuriating to me um because they just wouldn't let anything go by and so then i created a vimeo account because i saw that's what blind wave was doing and then vimeo blocked my uh, account and which i got really mad about because i was paying 80 dollars a month for um that vimeo storage space and um <clears throat> um i emailed Emotion. them yeah I emailed them and then they gave it back to me and all that and I was just like, oh my god. So then I moved over to uh, Daily Motion, I believe. Daily, Daily Motion and Bit Shoot, and um, that was about it. But the thing about having a redirect like that, it's not as easy as um, it seems. And more importantly, um, you know, that's me paying editors. Uh, 
a good amount of money to edit these videos but if they don't go up on YouTube I don't get any of that uh, ad revenue back and thus it goes back to the whole WBTV thing thus I'm paying money just to finish a series and that's what I did for The Last Airbender for uh, uh, The Last Airbender when it got to the point of Korra I had already finished or, or was just about to finish Korra on Patreon and I was just looking at how much I was spending over the years for the last airbender just so I could have that up on uh, uh, on YouTube redirecting the bit shoot or whatever and I'm like I can't do that with Korra four seasons what is that like 220 something episodes that's a lot of money to spend um, mm. um, and so that's why I was just like I just let people know like yeah if you want to see Korra it's on Patreon. It's not that expensive to do. Um, if more people are uh, join Patreon because of Cora, then I can see like, okay, well, look, I made X amount of money um, every month because of Cora. Let's bring it to you. Well, not, <laughs> let's bring a redirect version to YouTube and uh, make that happen. So. Um, but it just wasn't really um, something I wanted to pursue um, for another year or two years and shit. So that was it. That's what happened. Really motion, Scott. Shh. It seems like it has shit copyright claims because I've seen whole ass episodes of Ruby. Right. Right. And I'm like, hmm. Yeah. Rush Chief isn't. It's a weird thing because I was just like, I was like, what in the fuck, Viacom? This is a 10 year old show. Like, like, but then I also started thinking because I called Viacom. I was like, I'm getting so sick of this. Like, like, t just tell me, tell me what you want me to do. Do you not want me to show the music? Do you don't like, like, like my thing was like, you know, it's up to the company, but my thing is, especially for a 10, 10 a year old show, I'm like, yo, um, my videos that I was p uh, putting up there, there is no way in hell you could tell what was going on with the show, particularly because some of the editors even the kind of like chopped and screwed it up, like they would put the last part in the beginning and the beginning and the last part um there is no i no idea you can tell what was going on with the story unless you've already seen it first those clips we were showing were only there for reference purposes and i, I was getting so frustrated with uh, viacom i called them directly i was like yo what the fuck like <laughs> they were and this black lady picked up the phone yeah i knew she was black but we got into <laughs> argument and everything and um it, it was a, just a big deal i was just like I, I just can't dedicate all my time to this series um in terms of putting it up on youtube and i can't read like i have that problem with my hero academia right now which is one of the reasons i can only sporadically upload our the uploads to my hero academia are so sporadic because i just uh, i personally don't have that kind of time to sit and um upload to two different goddamn websites have redirects make sure it's all linked up and like making sure it, it's such a hassle and so but i still really like my hero academia so there's a sort of passion that will drive me to continue doing it but when i looked at legend of Korra, i'm like Ugh, four seasons of this <laughs> like <laughs> my god i don't know if i can do that and then what was more disheartening is the fact that i would just google or i would just search on youtube last uh, air uh, avatar whatever reactions and you'd see people doing the whole episodes and i'm just like why why does my channel get so much get, get this so like it's so it's kind of cool and it, or it's kind of a nice feeling in a way to know that your channel is so big that it picks up these sensors and everything but at the same time an annoying because i can't get anywhere because of these uh sensors and these uh restrictions and shit so yeah ah, yeah 
Oh well. <laughs> yeah, I guess. But I enjoyed, I really enjoyed Legend of Korra so much. And much more than Avatar. And, and for my personal reasons. So, yeah. Which you can find out on Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, let's get on out of here. This was a good little chat, a good little test. I appreciated uh, speaking with all of you guys today. It was real fun. Yeah, real it was fun. fun. We'll have to do this a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have to get everybody in on this. Um, it, time zones yes. are crazy, but I appreciate pr appreciate you guys making the time for me. Thank you so much. And you, no YouTube, problem, YouTube audience, make sure you check out these crazy cats at the Discord channel. Um, I'll leave a link, of course. Actually, I think it is the first link. And we're all going to go about our day real soon, but hopefully we'll see all of you guys on, wait, over there, on Discord very, very soon. We out!